Good morning children. Now I hope you all have understood the chapter number 3 data handling. In this session we will revise all the main points of this lesson once again. So I am sure your doubts will be clear. So children are you ready? Let us begin. Children in this revision session I will explain five topics. The first one is data and data handling. Second one collecting and organizing data. Third one representative values. Fourth one bar graph and double bar graph. And the last one is chance and probability. So let us understand all this once again in detail. Now children, let us discuss the first topic which is data and data handling. The numerical information or facts collected is known as data. Data is a collection of facts gathered in the form of numerical values. Clear children? The data collected by an individual is called primary data. For example, a teacher collects a data about a particular student or data collected by a student for his project, etc. are the examples of primary data. This data collected from the reports published by agencies and collected from newspapers, internet, magazines and other sources are called secondary data. For example, literacy rate of five states of India or you can say average temperature of five major cities of Gujarat etc. Now all of you understood what is the meaning of data? Correct. Now data handling. Data handling refers to the process of gathering, recording and presenting information in a way that is useful to others that is that process is known as data handling we can represent this in the form of graphs or charts here you can see that teacher has presented the data of month wise birthdays of students so this is one way of handling data and isn't it very simple and easy to read and understand clear children i hope you have understood students moving to next point is collecting and organizing data now collection of data means what gathering information or facts about something is called collection of data. Always remember that data collected must be relevant. As I explained earlier, data collected by direct investigation by an individual is called primary data. Correct. And when data is collected from newspapers, internet, magazines and other sources are known as absolutely correct secondary data. So children, all of you understood how to collect the data and what are the sources to collect the data, what are primary data and what are known as secondary data. Understood children? Now, once data has been collected, it is very important to be organized 
in a systematic manner it is much easier to read understand and interpret that clear now here i will explain two ways to organize data first one is we arrange data either in ascending order or in descending order and the second one is tabular representation of data how do we tabulate data now as i explained earlier also that we write scores tally marks and frequency in a tabular manner this is known as tabulation of data and which makes information easy to read and understand that is known as organization of data understood children i hope you have understand understood it in a better way now we will discuss representative values now children how many representative values i taught yes correct there are four representative values which are they arithmetic mean range mode and median absolutely correct so first one is arithmetic mean now arithmetic mean is equal to sum of all observations divided by total number of observations the arithmetic mean commonly known as absolutely correct an average clear now children remember that arithmetic mean lies between the highest and the lowest observation understood children clear the second one is range range is equal to highest observation minus lowest observation that means the difference between the highest and the lowest values in a given set of data is called its range for example the difference between the height of the tallest and the shortest boy of the class understood children clear the next one is mode mode is the observation which occurs maximum number of times in a given set of data that means the observation which comes most often in a data is known as mode of the data and the last one is median the mid value of the middle observation means median of a data is the value of the middle observation when data has been arranged either in ascending or in descending order so i hope now you are clear with all four representative values understood now i will discuss bar graph a bar graph is a graphical representation of numerical data by rectangular bars of uniform width with equal spacing between them so children and i know that you are drawing a bar graph in standard 6 clear so you are very much aware about how to draw a bar graph but then also let me explain when a large number of numerical data is given in a tabular form it becomes bit difficult to understand and interpret so if the data is represented graphically understanding and analyzing data becomes easier a bar graph is one such way of 
data representation clear children now you know that we write categories on x axis and the quantity that is numbers on y axis we need to mention the scale of the data and we give a suitable title to the bar graph so children i hope now you are clear with this fine the next is double bar graph now what is double bar graph double bar graph is a graphical representation of two sets of data at the same time children you know this is it or not now double bar graph helps us to compare two sets of data simultaneously for example once a teacher has asked the students which type of book they prefer to read she has put her survey in the form of double bar graph as shown in the figure children here you can see the types of books mentioned on x axis and number of boys and girls on y axis clear children here you can also see that there are two boxes drawn on top the one with the pink color refers to girls and one with the blue is for boys so children understood this clear now scale what is a scale one unit is equal to two students now here you can see that fiction is liked by 14 girls and 10 boys eight girls and 14 boys like to read adventurous books and six girls and 10 boys like to read comics now children i hope you have understood how to draw double bar graph and how to answer the questions related to it isn't it very simple fine the last and final topic in this revision session is chance and probability chance means the possibility of something happening and probability is defined as the measure of likelihood of something to happen that means probability is equal to number of favorable outcomes divided by number of all possible outcomes children in our day to day life we often say probably it will rain tomorrow most probably i will score first class in my annual exam we are not sure about the happening of events the event may or may not happen now there are three types of events the first one is certain to happen for example the sun sets in the west the probability of such event is 1 the second one is impossible impossible means for example a tiger can fly is it possible no so the probability of such events is 0 and the last one is can happen but not certain getting an odd number on rolling a dice the probability of such events is in between 0 and 1 so children all of you understood that what 
is probability what is chance and i hope children this revision session helped you to clear your doubts so students please revise it properly once again this chapter is very simple and easy to understand children have a nice day and stay healthy bye